All right, start the music. Um, <laughs> I seem to do that lately every time I do an update video. Um, so what do I gotta talk about this week? Um, first, yesterday I was not in too good of a mood. I don't know why. I think it was because uh, it was because I just didn't feel that good. Like I was tired. I mean, yesterday as in right now I'm still tired um not as tired as it was earlier I was I was pretty tired but right now I'm not too tired um and I was not in a good mood with fire emblem because not I think I kind of screwed myself over a little bit and so it was pretty much I had to get some pretty accurate like I had to have pretty much certain conditions for a map, or for chapter 3. Just like chapter 2, it took me over 50 tries because it was certain conditions. So I had to pretty much, uh, had to pretty much go through the entire game again. And I used the guy that someone did mention in it, like, on one of the, uh, on like the latest part which it might not be the latest part anymore. After, once you watch this, I don't know. But uh, the chapter two part, someone I think mentioned that there was an easier way to do it, which I actually found out about that, like about an hour or so after I got done recording that. And no, not even an hour. Like, I think it was the next day or something. Like, after trying to do chapter three a few times, I found out about the guide and yeah that that made me a little mad that there was an easier way to do it and so I went back and pretty much went through the entire game again beat all the way up to chapter two and I did not I did not record it because there was way too much reset and stuff and it was pretty much yeah, um, it wasn't fun. Chapter 2, even the author of the guide said, Chapter 2 is the hardest chapter, not Chapter 3. Chapter 2, because there's so much luck involved in that. While once you get, uh, once you get into Chapter 3, you just have to get the certain requirements that his guide suggests, and then you'll get it done, hopefully. But, like, I think I even read through chapter 3, I haven't, like, literally, like, memorized it or anything. I might be using it in the video, or in the middle of the video or whatever, looking over it, but, um, pretty much the chapter, it's like, let me just read what it says. Bottom left portion of the map, only one melee unit with counter. That means archers can have counter, because you're gonna attack them from afar anyways, most likely. Um, if they have counter, but, um, and they can only attack from afar, so, yeah. Um, so bottom left portion, no more than one melee with counter. Bottom right portion, no more than one melee with counter. And then the top part of the map, melee units with counter should be not near each other. The whole map, less Luna plus equals better. And, yeah, that's, like, my least favorite move. I prefer counter over uh, Luna Plus because Luna Plus can screw you over so badly, especially if it's a, if it's a melee uh, unit. If it's a magic unit, it's only going to cut in half the, uh, the uh, resistance, which most characters don't have that good of resistance anyway. It's mostly the magic users that got to deal with that so like when I was using Frederick against the magic user it was like originally the attack power was like 15 damage and then it got cut to 16 damage because of Luna Plus so not too worried about Luna Plus uh, against magic users it's more the melee users but anyways uh, then finally the boss if she has I don't know how to pronounce them. A geese plus, 
Pavise plus and counter. Uh, yeah, you won't beat her. That's pretty much the prelims for, uh, for trying to do Chapter 3. And so, uh, <laughs> yeah, once you get those prelims, then the only thing you got to do is hit. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. And then you don't even have to select all the units. They recommend four units. I'll tell you about that once the video starts. But, um, yeah, once Chapter 3 is done, then Chapter 4 is pretty much a breeze. I remember going through Chapter 4 myself in the, uh, in Lunatic, and it only took me one try and, like, less than five minutes to beat. And so I expect, I expect that to be about the same with, uh, well, not the same, but I expect that to be about an hour, maybe, for Chapter 4, if that. So, yeah, um, enough about Fire Emblem. Uh, going into real life, um, Grandma's gonna be getting out of, uh, out of rehab in, like, two days, I think. And I don't want to deal with it. Because <laughs> she's, because the doctor said, oh, she can go home. As in, she can go home that no one has to take care of her and stuff. With a broken arm. And then, um, the social workers are saying that probably shouldn't be going home alone. And then, uh, my uncle is trying to do, like, power of attorney sort of thing. But she ha he has to get her to sign something. Good luck with that. She's the one that keeps saying, I'm going home. So that's that. <laughs> um, and then also next week, I'm going to be watching my sister's uh, dogs from Thursday to Sunday. And so I'll be over at my sister's house for that weekend and I'm not saying I'm having a stream or anything because anytime I've said oh I'm going to my sister's house I'll do a stream it doesn't happen so I'm not gonna say anything about that <laughs> I'm just gonna say I'll probably record if I feel like streaming I will stream but I'm not saying anything okay um and then that lead leaves me with uh recordings. Uh, as you can tell, Animal Crossing is pr pretty much my top priority because if you notice, Animal Crossing gets a lot of views really quickly. Not to toot my own horn about views or anything, but uh, if you had people viewing something like that, or if you were making videos, would you do the thing that uh, got less views, or would you do the thing that got more views? Just point that out there. And I mean, I know Luigi's Mansion 2 and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon get views, but they don't get views like Animal Crossing, which gets like triple digits in one day sometimes. Um, so yeah, the Animal Crossing thing is top priority. Plus, I'm pretty sure most of the viewers, most of you all want to see more Animal Crossing than anything else because it's not out yet and it's really something that pretty much almost any 3DS, like, at least half the people that got a 3DS kind of wanted to get Animal Crossing, I have to say. I know that was the first, whenever they announced Animal Crossing for the 3DS and the 3DS wasn't even out yet, I was pretty much like... Okay, that's going to be, like, the game that I'm getting as day one. And that's, like, two years ago. <laughs> Over two years ago. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Funny, huh? Huh? <laughs> so, yeah. I know that's pretty much how I thought whenever I didn't have Animal Crossing. And so I know that's what a lot of you all are thinking thinking as well so 
I'll try to pump the Animal Crossing videos once a day. And as you all can tell, I've been trying to do that. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to record any tonight. Meaning, get any today. If I, I'm going to try at least one today and then record a lot more tomorrow uh, until May 1st. Which then, May 1st, that's when the new downloadable content item comes out. So... I'm going to record probably that night or something whenever it comes out and then have it up the next day at like noon or whatever so and then have more videos from there if I can think of any ideas with it like I do need to start doing the perfect day thing but that's after I do my time travels through the year and get all the fishes and stuff because I want to get all the fish and all the all the seafood and <laughs> seafood and all the insects for my museum and that way I will uh, have the golden items for whenever the game comes out uh, in the US and then I'll then what I'll do is instead of using um, instead of uh, catching the stuff off screen since you'll actually be able to see read what it is and stuff like that I'll probably start catching stuff on screen and yeah go from there pretty much um and then my second priority is fire emblem because I've been in the fire emblem mood like a lot if you hadn't if you didn't tell by me going through the game by myself through lunatic and then starting a lunatic plus playthrough yeah that's how much I've been in the mood with fire emblem yeah and so uh, I'm gonna try to breeze my way through that game or breeze my way through lunatic plus as like as soon as I get to the DLC where I can grind and uh, even it out for the chapter, but even it out through stats. Stats do not equal levels. If you notice, there's level 2 and 3 soldiers with like 14 attack and stuff, and like 30, 35 HP, and then the boss is like 40 HP, and it's like... <laughs> I'm sitting here with 20 HP, and it's like, <laughs> no, I don't like sitting here with 20, between 20, I mean, Frederick, my Frederick in the new game only has 28 HP, and, or 29 HP, I think, maybe, I don't, I don't remember exactly, but I just remember seeing less than 30, and then every single enemy has 30 to 35 HP with the boss of being 40. And it's like, that's not even. That's a bullcrap lunatic plus difficulty that I need to level up a little bit to even myself out. Minus their whole, uh, I'm going to counter you and I'm going to use Luna plus every single time you go at me, bro, and all that. So, yeah, that's the plan with Lunatic Plus is grind on chapters until I get the stats that are needed to continue the game because if I continued after chapter 4 like I would, like how I'd look I think I would be pretty much screwed for the entire game. I mean Lunatic Plus is almost DLC required because Lunatic and Lunatic Plus the Risen battles that are random encounters are, uh, are, like, max stat, <laughs> max stat, which I probably could show you all on a video one or one time or another before I actually jump into a chapter or whatever, just to show you how much bullcrap it is to try to grind in Fire Emblem through reeking boxes and stuff. I mean... If anything, the reeking boxes would be more like single videos themselves with it being the challenge and all that because of how much bullcrap it is. It's almost as bad as the max stat uh, spot pass teams. 
So yeah, no, I'm gonna grind. I, I mean, if you can make it through up to chapter four, you the man. I'm trying to be the man. <laughs> and so far, it's made me go crazy a little bit. Um, but cool right now because I made it through chapter two not once but twice. So, yeah, um, and I got two different files for trying to beat it for, so, yeah, that's, that sounds pretty good for me. Um, and yeah, if I don't stream over at my sister's house, I'll probably record some Luigi's Mansion 2 and Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, and try to finish that up at my sister's house, because if I can do that, then that would be freaking awesome. Have all that two games done like that and then yeah because <laughs> I'd have pretty much a three three days to beat two games pretty much and Luigi's Mansion 2 I think it can knock out in a day if I don't have anyone bothering me or if the dogs don't bark in the background that's another reason why I don't stream too much because the dogs they like to bark if they hear the slightest sound and their bark is very obnoxious I think this video's gone on long enough, so yeah, that that was pretty much it. This was mostly a Fire Emblem video, but uh, <laughs> with Fire Emblem background music. <laughs> but um, either way, it was pretty much informative too, with Fire Emblem, real life, Animal Crossing, Luigi's Mansion 2, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2, and or. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Gates to Infinity, I think it is. Yeah, I think that's what it is. And yeah, and once I'm done with Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, I mean, I can go back to it and do random dungeons through the whole, uh, the whole, whatever it is, where I put it up to a circle or whatever and do random dungeons that you pretty much get random Pokemon to start out with, and yeah, so... I mean, that's a series that can go on for a little while, too, because I heard there's, like, at least over a hundred dungeons that are randomly generated, if not way more than that. Like, way more than that. I heard there was, like, some people say there's, like, over a hundred. Some people are saying there's, like, over a thousand. So, yeah, that series can go on forever, too. <laughs> I got a lot of games that can go on forever, so people that say... Don't try to go too fast, even though I have 10 games that I gotta do, 10 plus games. Um, don't worry, I got plenty of games. <laughs> I can I can make it last forever. I mean, I got so many games right now. I'm, I was thinking about getting Donkey Kong Country Returns, but with so many games I gotta do right now, I don't know if I can or not, because then I'll just add another game and make me more stressed than what I should be. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um, so with that, um, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you all next time, and hey, hey, Anna, say, say, no, oh, she just wants to roll over, say bye, Anna, say bye.